diameter. One of the earliest pressure measuring instruments is still in wide use today because of its inherent accuracy and simplicity of operation. It's the U-tube manometer which is a U-shaped glass tube partially filled with liquid. This manometer has no moving parts and requires no calibration. Manometry measurements are functions of gravity and the liquid's density, both physical properties that make the U-tube manometer a NIST standard for accuracy. The atmosphere is the layers of air wrap around the Earth. That air has a weight and presses against everything it touches as a gravity pulls it to the Earth. Barometers pressure this pressure. The height of the liquid in a manometer is directly proportional to the hydrostatic pressure. The picture below shows an inclined manometer. Three major types of manometer. Differential, sealed end, open end. Differential manometer. A differential manometer is different than a sealed end or an open end manometer in that the two ends are exposed to different points along the flow path. The difference in fluid height yields the pressure difference between the two points. The small difference in liquid height is more easily measured along the angled line than along the vertical stem. Sealed end manometer. The open end is open to the fluid of interest while the closed end encloses a vacuum. For example, in a barometer, atmospheric pressure pushes some of the mercury from the reservoir into and up to the glass tube. The height of the liquid column then represents the atmospheric pressure. In 2007, the European Union banned the use of mercury in barometers due to the high toxicity of mercury. They were followed in 2011 by the United States. Open-end manometer In an open-end manometer, one arm is exposed to the fluid being monitored, and the other arm is open to the atmosphere. In this example, the system pressure is greater than the atmospheric pressure. The gas in the left arm then pushes some of the liquid in the manometer into the other arm. The resulting height difference H represents the pressure difference between the system and the atmosphere. When the ends of the manometer tube are exposed to different pressures, the high pressure pushes down on the fluid and the level drops, forcing the fluid level to rise in the low pressure arm. The pressure difference can be determined from the difference in the height. On the left, the hydrostatic head or static head of a water manometer is used to measure the pressure between the surface water and ground water. Manometers are also useful in the medical field. For example, the Spigma manometer to the right is used to measure the blood pressure. Advantages Easy to read Height difference is proportional to pressure. No moving parts. Disadvantages Cannot measure high pressures with great accuracy. Contain fluids which can be dangerous when exposed to high temperatures, limiting manometers to lower temperature systems. Small pressure range. Created using Powtoon.